you know how to change the um the stock count? I don't know what they're doing. Alright, I'll get this started. How do we change the stock count on this? You just click right click right store and then do properties. Okay, so it's a five on. We know? Yeah, five. Five on five?
Okay. Game yeah, audio, this is our audio. Yep. Three, two, one. Yeah, he wants the space, but the sheep can camp him out with needles. I think so. I don't know if this is too But I don't know if he's going to do that. It seems to be pretty aggressive. Oh. He saw it play overall. So it's on fire. Ooh, gets back. Was super risky, but it paid off. Dumb is so actually cute. really good, but if the sheep croaks, it's not good. That back is very nice. 166% managed to hold on. I like the attempt. He was trying to clash with the down move that he knew was coming, but Luigi moves too far away for that. For that oh, good, uh, uh, Luigi's doing a good job of reading his jumps with back air. Like when it, he seems to know whenever she's going to jump. Those, those back are sticky. Yeah. Like massive hip hops in these things. Charging his down beam so he can die off stage. He keeps getting hit with these like double fair combos. Forward throw or down throw. So he needs to watch out for those. Oh. Uh, pretty deep. Oh. Yeah. God, it's Bonfire it's with uh, six stocks. Pretty that good. Is six stocks, right? Count him up. So. Oh, big combo. He managed to get 50%. Luigi's trying to come yeah, down with yeah. Nair, trying to get a trade of some sort. Yeah. It seems that the, uh, the, the, the mid-game uh, conference that Luigi had during the early game is sort of falling apart right now. Yeah. I think she's just like outplaying him a little. Like, Luigi really needs to make use of his wave dash to go in and out of Sheik's range. He seems to be like, he's wave dashing but he's stationary most of the time. He'd be down for us. 160, so he, he needs a back throw on an edge. Otherwise it's not going to go. Okay, he has to go. So, oh, that's what got tiny. <laughs> No, it's yeah, the okay. wrong one, so... Lowell... So you guys are at 16 now. And... Luigi has how many stocks? Was... Wait, it's not 16 for Lowell anymore. Didn't he lose one? I'm oh, no, sorry. You guys are at 16. Yeah, we're at 16. Yep. And they lost... Is it 3 stock or 2 stock? 2? I want to say that was 2. How many stocks did you have, Luigi? Hey, how many stocks do you have at the end? How many stocks do you have at the end? Okay, so yeah, they're at 14. So WKI, we're sending in our, um, our Ice Climbers player right now. His tag is damp, and uh, he can't wobble, so... Okay. We could be seeing some wobble. So, uh... Let's see. Uh, damp? Platforms to interfere wow. with the uh, wobble setups. Oh, here we go. The G-Sync straight off the bat. Pretty good. 
Joe loves to do these. Uh, he'll get you with the grab, and then he'll let you go, and he'll get you again. Okay. And get start wobbling you. Lots of little grabs out of his man. He'll grab you, and he gets you with Popo. Uh, he dropped right there. Yeah, that's, that's, what that's what he was going for. A re grab. Let's see if Luigi starts using some of his like more unconventional moves that are good in this matchup, like um, down tilt. It's pretty good at popping Nana up because it will shield stab most of the time. That was a rough Nana death. Right yeah. Let's see how his Sopo does because if he has a good Sopo, he can get like a good Sopo means he has like, essentially one more stock. One more stock every day. Yeah, so Poe is definitely a good place to take to pick up the sand. Yeah. Oh, nice piece. Oh, oh, okay. And here we go! Let's see. Let's see if he drops it. Oh! He went for it. I think that's the right choice though, going for the up smash kill. He's kind of wide on the side, so you really want to go. definitely He's just a little bit off. Okay, good. That's fast, that's fast. Yeah. Not only is it fast, but it actually has a little bit of a hitbox, like an upward hitbox. So like Luigi is coming down on him and uh, that's gonna be something out. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, definitely covered. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay. Nice setup. That, he loves to do that uh, that icicles in the grab. Yeah, if Luigi isn't expecting it, he needs to like just dash out of range or do a light shield. Yeah. Luigi's so slidey that light shield will just push him away. So oh, he's out of it again. But uh, not looking too good at all. That was a little bit hasty. He had 9% for the ice climber. He's trying to go for a misfire kill. That's a good move too, down B. If it pokes Nana, she'll pop up. Instant desync. Does he play against Luigi often? No, we don't have him. He's able to clutch out and get those grabs. Alright, so we have the BPI is down to 14. Luigi ended with one stop. Well, you guys are at 12. Okay. Right. Yeah, what, what are the stacks? One. Cause, so you guys sent in... We're at 15. That's not good. There are 12. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, that's right. Sorry guys, one second. The score thing is a little bit confusing. 15? Yeah. yeah, so you guys sent in... Sheik, Ices, and um, I guess we're gonna rise as Ices. 12, so you guys, they have three left. They're sending the Fox. We do have a Fox. Um, One. I'm surprised that he didn't go to Dreamland. Maybe he's more comfortable on Battlefield. Yeah, I think that uh, that could definitely be the case. A lot of, a lot of times, uh, players are very, very common to play with here. This matchup is one of those that, like, it's really dependent on the player skill. Like, if the Fox can avoid getting grabbed, like, have really crispy tech skill, yeah. then this is a pretty good matchup for Fox. And if he gets his hands on there... But if he misses L cancels and starts getting shield grabbed, this, this matchup yeah, is like... If he does any dangerous down airs on shield, he's gonna get grabbed right out of those. Oh. Gets up his grab. Keeps going for those. Yeah, there we go. Just go in. Uh, she jumped. She'll always burn her jump immediately. If she can so let's see get what he goes. A lot of percent on Nana right now. That's what he needs to do. He just needs to kill Nana. Then like, so far does not really kill Nana. He doesn't get to any down spend. So Nana's still living though. Yeah. She's probably about at the same uh, percent, maybe a little bit higher than Popo right now. So like 95, I'd say. Definitely one up smash on her. Hold the ledge. She wasn't going to jump there. That's a good point. But it manages to turn it around. Yeah. He seems, he's doing a good job of like staying on the platform a bit to run away. That's what you need to do. Camp platforms, come down with a hit. 
And he's going for these fast shine, like running off the stage shines, which is really good. Yeah. Because if you hit, you get on the stock top of the for grab. Yep. Really nice combo. That works too. Hiya! Ice timer back here is pretty strong. So. Oh, all right. Uh, Any smash right. attack, and he's dead. He's got to convert off. Oh my god. He hasn't converted a single. Single wobble. That's happening because he's there. You go. He's he's queuing up Manus forward smash or up smash, whatever he's trying to do. Before he's releasing with Popo, he needs to wait for Popo to get the grab. He's getting a little bit antsy. Oh, there's a grab side. Oh yeah. Puts that away. Both players playing incredibly safe. Oh my god! Yeah. So this should be a stock. That definitely could be a stock. That's where we're at. Oh! He could have jumped out of that, but he did it. So. Yeah, that seemed like. Yeah. That was pretty lucky. Man. Yeah, I got that. He messed up his DC, but. but oh, oh, just like that. That's really important. That was super important. He definitely thought about like, that. Not only for this match, but for the next match. Yeah, I felt fine for Sopo. Yeah, I guess that's, you know, when you're getting wobbled, it's definitely a good time to think about what you can do yeah. and get off that platform. He definitely did that. Yeah. Came out with the Sopo versus Fox. Ooh. Fox isn't really jump canceling his grabs. If, yeah, right there. If he had jumped in, so that he may have been able to get out, but Sobo got a grab instead. Not quite there. He's gonna need a little bit more. He's going for these. Oh, edge guard opportunity. Full oh, shot. Oh, Lyman. He went straight. I don't even know why he thought he could go straight. Sobo can't really punish the Too many foxes going for that straight yeah. angle. Like going high is. I think a superior option in that, yep. in that, that And that's situation. huge because Icy's getting out of that. So that's that's another wobble to no, that is huge, right? That's yeah. almost like getting a free stock. It is a free stock. So, yeah. um, so that also gives us an opportunity or gives WPI an opportunity to get a wobble coming into this first game and be yeah. stock and a lot of momentum coming out of there. So, so Lowell sent in, it was a uh, Chinks at first, right? And then a Luigi, Luigi. Then a Fox. Then a Fox. Yeah. You guys just had Sheik in this ice. Just Sheik and ice so far. So, you guys are doing pretty good. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's see what the stage is. Ready? Go! Alright. We got another Fox. One way, because of neutral start in the crew battle, and you always start on the bottoms. Sometimes Foxes will like to go for just double running shine, right? You just run at them, shine, then run again and shine them. Yep. That works really well if they're not expecting it. Yeah, you can mean, just end the stock, but... Alright. Let's see how that pushes it. So it's all for the nice. Yeah, it's good separation, but let's him get back together. Did he manage to get that shine on Nana right there? Oh. He's staying out of Blizzard range, which is pretty good though. Yeah, he's definitely got some space up there. Nice save. Oh, oh that, that was, was really cool. risky. You gotta play cool and quiet. He got oh, really impatient. Alright. He's been having, the Ice is having a bit of trouble, like finishing off the hill after wobbles, so let's see if he gets it. Oh, he got a bad time. Yeah. No. Oh. That's the kind of unpressed movement. You can't be like missing L cancels on nares like that. You're totally right. Excuse me, every time you approach with a, like uh, a nair, and especially on double shield, with those hit, it hit two two bodies. So a little bit more hit them than you made them. Yeah, the, the second shield can really throw off when you do yeah. with your L cancel time. Even if they don't shield like that situation, hitting two people is still more hit stuff. Yeah. So. Wow. Definitely risky, but... Uh, this Fox is taking way more risks than I would like. Oh, yeah. Lockdown. This guy... The 
Icy's can even get one more stock. That's huge. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's quite the deficit. Oh, this could be oh. it. Alright! Another one. Oh, a little bit close. Oh, oh that's. Uh, that's a go. Starting it from zero is a little bit hard. It is, yeah. If he starts mashing. But the next grab. That, like, that should be it if he gets another yeah. one. Next grab with Nana nearby. Wait, oh. Fox. oh, Nana's gone though. Alright, let's see if the same thing happens that last time. Oh, Edge guard opportunity! Yeah. Oh, that was almost good. Super risky. But. Same as last game, if Sobo can clutch this up, another Nana stock. That's right. Like, that spot dump is close. Oh my god! Side these. The one on the left almost killed him before, and then caught up with him, I guess. Seems like, uh, seems like that Fox just let himself get a little too flustered by the wall. His, his tech skill was a little bit uncrisp. Maybe it was nerves, I don't know. But Icy's is still at what? Still at 13. Mario 13? Yeah, yeah he started that with one four stock. stock. Four stock. Uh, Last you know, is a mark. People talk about the wobble being quite a force in crew battles just because you just eat through momentum. So, so yeah, it's really good at twisting the momentum in crew battles. Um, but if you, if, you do, if you have somebody who really knows how to play the match, you can still get through them. Nice wobble. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is uh, Lolo's last player. Uh, last player. He needs hard. to have like crazy run. Yes, he does. He's got quite a few people to get through after this, too. Uh, I think this. If Martha has the opportunity to take it. The sword is so long. Like, he has a chance to kill the Ices, but yeah, he can definitely apply. He needs to have on your crew. What's up? Okay, so left, we still have uh, both of our Fox players. Yeah. And a uh, Okay, yeah, I, I don't see him coming back because this guy is, like, amazing. It is true, though, that, you know, in this match, I can definitely apply pressure from the same distance. Yeah. Uh, down tilt, pretty good if you see him along the side. Oh. It seems like Lowell doesn't really have too much ice experience. They, a lot of them keep on jumping into the, into the, the blizzard, right? Blizzard? Yeah, yeah. Blizzard you really have to respect scarier. Blizzard. Yeah. yeah. So right there? Yeah, that's good. Just bait things. The out of shield options of ice aren't too good. This ice is done some serious work. Yeah. This is, yeah. Now, this is interesting what he ends up doing. Yeah. Smash. Forward smack probably would have killed anyway, but. Left side of the stage, yeah. so why not go up? Ooh, Nana gets a pet. Uh, he sinks everywhere. Zero percent of the icy. Oh, oh and, and Nana pulled. It's interesting. He hasn't done that yet. Maybe it's he's been like testing it out and hasn't like. Yeah, I know that. He's got that down. Joe is um. Yeah, he's been experimenting with other names right now. Okay. So it's possible that he just does this one. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, that's a yeah, really yeah, good technique. Send Nana out in front of you with a, uh, a blizzard to cover the, oh, the jump. And if it clips them, they fall on the ground. You have to cover the ground. Really nice. Ooh, Nana was a little bit too far from yeah, that. She wasn't quite able to get back in time. That's lit. She's got a capitalize here. Well, well, that should be a dead Nana. There's no reason to save her either, anyway. Like, yeah. She's so far ahead. Even if he can't clutch this out, one of your other three teammates. <laughs> But, Let's see if, uh, honestly, Sopo has been oh. pretty good overall. That's it. That is it. So, two more stocks for Lowell. I find it's pretty hard to believe that Sopo can take another two, though. Uh, yeah. But, like last time, we got a free stock from his SD. Like, who knows anything happened? Especially in the last play around here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Alright, so. Alright, well, he had a crazy run. 12. To two. Two. 12.
What is WPI's answer? Fox, or I'm assuming you're going to send in one of your foxes, or... Uh, that's what I would expect, yeah. yeah. A demonic have... ditto would be a little risky, but, um... <laughs> Fox, bring him to... Probably Battlefield. Alright, yeah. Oh, Dreamline, interesting. This oh, is David. Yeah, yeah, sorry. He, yeah, he's going to Dreamline. There's way more space. Mark can't tipper as easily for the platform. Right, yeah, that's, the platform tipper is definitely a factor. You can still get an up tilt tipper, but it has to be like in the very center of the stage with like a very tip of the up tilt. So, so yeah, so Mark is going to be more restricted to using up airs to come to the platform rules. Really, he needs to get these games. He needs to kind of camp a little bit more towards the left. Yeah. Or if he's going to chain grab, stay in the center of the stage. Oh, so, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. I like the attempt there with the jab and the board smash, but Might have been a little too easy. it was too early, I think, at this percent. The jab was a little bit too easy to get out of it. Even if you had landed on that spot, it's probably Yeah. Oh, that is a dangerous recovery. It's so important to be able to sweet spot with Marcel here. Yeah, otherwise you're going to get shined or... Down smash. Or even Mark Killer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mark Killer is really. Yep. Good choice in up throwing. It was, might have been tempting to back throw and try to go into a throw situation, but I think that was way more damage. Yeah, I think. You have to have confidence. Because yeah. even if he's DI'd out, he's off stage. Right. So. Alright. Lowell's last. Oh. I'll throw two Another one. Bears and the back air. Alright, he's in one more up air range. Like, or in the one, one more hit and one more up air. Marth goes. Try to see the edge guard, but a little too late. Okay, let's see if he gets this. Yeah. Oh, he didn't count it. I think that uh, charging that edge guard is giving away his options. Yeah. Alright, well, that's Good it. Game. No. All right, guys, that was a crew battle. Um, so WPI is going to be playing UMass Boston uh, later on today, uh, probably around 5, so about an hour. Uh, so tune in for that if you guys want to see yep. that. Thanks for having us. Yep. All right. I'm Memory. I'm Moat. All right. Nice commentating. Nice commentating. Yep. <laughs>